Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast. I hope everybody is well and having a really good day. It's Friday and the weather is nice and I've got a day off. I'm not working today. I scheduled it in so um, I could do a little bit of shopping. I've just been to the garden centre and bought some uh, winter bedding and flowers and a couple of shrubs for a job I've got booked in on Monday. A uh, regular customer just wants a bit of a winter tidy up and some uh, polyanthias and a few other bits and pieces put in so uh, I'm just preparing for that and then I'm going to go home and have a bit of a lazy afternoon I've got to catch up with some book works um, God they're a nightmare aren't they <laughs> I tell you what I'm not made I could never be an accountant I have a, an, a respect for accountants uh, but uh, it's got to be done hasn't it anyway today's video I've had a negative review on Google from somebody I've never met now it's annoyed me because um, I, I, I think to myself, will customers or potential customers look at that and turn away? Now, it, last Friday, so it's over the Christmas holiday period, going into uh, Saturday morning about half 12, uh, the next day I picked it up, the message, and uh, it was from a chap who alleges, alleges from Newcastle, can you give me a quote to uh, trim a hedge? Um, I live in Newcastle. Uh, blah 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 and it comes through on a format you get from google when you're on google business page so the next day um got myself turned around and i replied and i said can you send me address and postcode please uh because there's certain areas i don't work and there's certain areas i do uh, i didn't say that uh, and can you send me uh, a few photos of the hedge and then i'll be able to uh provide you with a free no obligation quote kind regards rob message back that evening so he's obviously somebody who can't sleep at night or somebody who likes a wee swallow and just uh, does it during the evening uh, and i didn't pick up on this if i'm honest and he said um the last chap charged me a hundred pound and it got it took him two hours i think that's ridiculous um it'll take you two hours and i'm prepared to pay 25 quid an hour now at that point i should have done um what i normally do is Thank you very much, but I'm not taking any new customers in your area. I wish you well. Kind regards, Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services. Sent it and just blocked him because that had my spider senses. But for some reason, I said, well, if you send me a few images of the, uh, the hedge, I'll be able to provide you with a quote. But until I see it, I can't provide you with a quote and hedge trimming can be extremely challenging, extremely time consuming. And there is the ways to consider. And I sent that message um, and I thought I was being really polite. And then he sent one back. So you're just the same as the others charging £50 an hour, £400 a day, uh, earning over £100,000 a year, just ripping people off. And I, I read this and I was quite shocked. And so instead of just stopping there, so don't do as I do, do as I say, I think is the, the term, but I've learned from it. I should have just cut that off straight away, but I didn't. And I said, sir, with respect, I said, I've not even seen the job. You haven't sent an image. I said, and I don't know whether I can do it in two hours. And I said, you haven't said whether you want me to take the waste away. And I said, as I've said before, hedge work can be extremely challenging. If you want me to do the job, uh, send me your address postcode and a few images of the hedge and we can move forward. Next thing. I don't want you to come and do this job. You're just like the rest of them. You're just a rip-off merchant. Right, Joe. F fine. Two hours later, um, I get an email saying uh, that this chap has left a review on Google. I was furious. My blood was boiling. And I had a look at it, uh, and he says, this person wanted to charge me £50 an hour um for a little bit of hedge work and then went on to tell me that hedge work's really challenging and i don't know what i'm doing and blah 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 and i just thought oh goodness me so uh i messaged him again mistake and said look what's your address and postcode because he hadn't sent it he's only sent uh, a street he lives in at this point in newcastle which is a bit suspicious and uh he didn't send, he says, if you don't stop pestering me, I'll write another review. I went, right, that's it. No further contact. So I, I didn't uh, contact him again. 
But I did respond to his review and said, sir, you've not, I said his name, I won't say it on here, but you can have a look. If you go on Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services um, on Google, you'll see the negative review and you'll see what I've replied. And I basically said, you haven't been honest in your review. I've never met you. I've never been to your house. I've never provided you with a free no obligation quote. You told me that a job would take two hours and you wanted to pay £25 an hour. Would I be happy to take the job on? And I said I wasn't. Um, anyway, have a look at the review, uh, the reply to the review. I think it um, explains itself. But my question today is, would you be worried about a negative review on Google? Does it stop people um, calling you? Because I had a five-star rating. Now it's gone down to 4.6 or something, which has annoyed me. However, the wife comes in. She said, what's up with your face? I said, have you seen this? And she said, let me just get a cup of tea. She thinks she's a bit of a detective wall ass. She, she watches too much of that, um, what's it called? A Murder, She Wrote and Vera. She loves it anyway. She sat having a cup of tea and she's looking at me phone. And she says, Rob, this is a bit strange, this, you know. I said, I think it's strange. She said, have you upset anybody? I says, well, not really. I said, there's a few YouTubers who are a bit annoyed with me for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. And I get a few nasty comments on the subscribers. I don't think I've upset anybody, apart from a couple of YouTubers. And she said, well, this chap, she says, judging by the conversation, you think he'd be a bit of a Karen and have loads of negative comments on people's businesses. But if you look at his history, and even now you could do that, on um, Google, he's only left one comment and that was manchester and the midlands 10 months ago so as he moved to this area she says the address what he, he didn't give me his address he just give me this street and it's a very nice street in the northern part of newcastle and she said i've been on right move there's no house has been sold there in the past 18 months i said goodness me emma i said where'd you pull that out from she says i think he's a fictitious person she said, I think you've upset somebody and they've just led you up the garden path. I said, I know. I said, do you know what it is? I said, I should have just said no, but I didn't. Um, so it, it could be some strange old fella living in a really posh suburb of Newcastle. Or it could be some disgruntled YouTuber or somebody who I've upset or just somebody who's been nasty. But uh, it, it has upset me. It's annoyed me. Um and I've appealed to um, Google to get rid of the review. And I was speaking to a pal of mine, ex-military guy, who's a bit of a con computer geek. I was telling the story and he was laughing. <laughs> he was laughing. I said, don't laugh, it's serious. And he said, well, do you want me to have a look into it? I said, well, if you would. Um, so I've given me details and stuff. And he's going to try and trace this chap. Apparently, you can do a Freedom of Information Act uh, application. You can apply to Google. You can tell them that you think it's malicious from either another tradesperson or another YouTuber. And uh, we'll try and find out who it is. Uh, and he said, what would you do if you find out who it was? I said, well, I don't know. I said, but I might just be tempted to drive down to their home address and ask them why they've done it and have a little chat with them because it can ruin people's businesses. Uh, and... I, and he was telling me you can create three or four of these false accounts. Well, imagine if you were a local gardener to me and I have three or four false accounts on Google and I start leaving three or four um, negative reviews. It, it could cripple you. Um, I, I, it's horrendous. Why would anybody do that? And uh, I think from people watching this, I'm a decent bloke. You know what I mean? I'm not a nasty person. Um, I try my best and... Honestly, it's really wound me up. Um, not so much now. It's you know, it's, it's, it's a week old, but it did annoy me. Um, and will it have a detrimental effect? I don't know. I've appealed to Google to say get rid of it, and I've wrote a report as to what I think's happened and who I think's done it. Uh, but they haven't got back to me. Um, might take a little bit of time. But do me a favour. Have a look at it and um, see if you think the reply will negate the negative review. But what do you do when you get a neg negative review? Does it upset you or do you just water off a duck's back and just let it go? I don't know. But it's annoyed me. But uh, hey-ho, it's it's all about... Um, it's, it's a learning curve, isn't it? And running a business, it's what we have to do. We have to get used to these nasty people out there who've got issues and problems. And they just obviously... Yeah, I don't know what they're thinking, but... 
Do you know what it is? For me to leave a negative review, they'd have to really annoy me. They'd have to come out, do a bad job. You, you just wouldn't do it over a, a quote, would you? But hey, I don't know. But anyway, that's that. I thought I'd share that with you. So if anybody, if there are any young gardeners out there, if, you, if anybody says to you, I'll pay you 25 quid an hour and the job will take two hours, so you're getting 50 quid, is that all right? Just politely say, I'm sorry, I'm not taking any work, uh, new work on in your area, but I wish you well and stop the conversation, right? Don't do what I did because it'll bite you in the backside. But there we go. Um, it's the beginning of January. We're in a new year, so happy new year. Um, the phone's... I've had a couple of uh, requests via my uh, website for garden tidy-ups. Uh, and I'll be going out on Monday once I've done a bit of I've got a bit of work on Monday Then I'll be going out to do some pricing And fingers crossed we can get some uh, money in the bank in January Because I have been doing the books And January is so, so quiet uh, Moving forward, there's a couple of things I need to do It's increased me turnover And me revenue in January and February That's uh, something that uh, sort of stood out when I was doing my books And when you calm down, you have a look and you can see it and you think, yeah, I need to do that. And I know I've mentioned on other videos about uh, gutter vac cleaning and uh, driveway cleaning, but whether that's right, I don't know. But I need to do something because, um, yeah, January and February for me are too quiet. And uh, March all the way through till sort of November, December's fun. You know, it's fine. I, I'm doing okay there. But them two months are too quiet. And uh, I need to do something about it, whether that's taking on bigger jobs with a bit of winter work, uh, taking on other avenues, I don't know. But I'm going to look into it. Uh, I'm not going to rush into any decisions, but uh, it's something I need to do. And I need to do it for next year. But this year's done. And uh, yeah, I'll just enjoy the next sort of eight weeks, not working at full pelt, having a bit of a rest. And then uh, come March, that's when we push forward and start the season. Anyway, that's me. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and come on my journey. I don't ask very often, but uh, 40 odd percent of my watchers aren't, sub aren't subscribed. Easy for you to say. It's free. So just press that button, subscribe. And uh, if you like the content, please press the like button. And thanks for everybody who leaves messages. I do get back to every comment. I pride myself in reading every comment. I enjoy reading the comments. And then I always uh, try and reply and uh, I do reply and just say thank you and engaging conversation. But until next time, take care. And remember, when the green gold's growing, you keep mowing. All the best. Take care.